Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Nasir Soft. In this video, I am going to show you how you can plot the bar graph uh, by using the Pandas Seaburn library. Right. And this is the basically a CSV file. Okay. Inside this file, we have the different type of topics and the volume of the topic. For example, the vaccination topic volume is 7842 and the outbreak are this one and so on. So I want to plot these topics, okay, inside the bar graph by using the Seaburn Python library. So this is our today uh, video agenda. So let's start. So I am using the Jupyter Notebook as an editor, okay. So the uh, necessary libraries are the first library is uh, is the pandas for to reading this CSV file, okay. So import pandas as pd okay the second library is for the graph and then that is the c burn so that is c burn and the abbreviation is for example sns okay so these two libraries uh, are required so after importing these two libraries now we uh, basically uh, read the csv by using the uh, pandas okay so for example i create a variable that is data file and by using the pd dot read csv method and side is parenthesis here the location of the file and the location of the file is, is this one this is my this directory okay and after importing the file here if i print the data file variable you can see here that inside this data file inside my topics we have the topic name and inside the volume we have all the volume of the specific this one okay so perfect so after uh, reading all the csv file we saved it inside the data file variable so now we create by using the uh, cburn abbreviation that is sns okay so here sns dot bar plot and inside its parenthesis we will define is different uh, parameter okay so for example here if i okay here and whatever it we save inside the for example uh, fig figure variable okay and inside the sns bar plot after uh, basically here we will write its x axis and y axis okay so and some more parameters and after this one here by using the set title method that is set title and we can set the title for this graph for example this title is topic wise and volume of tweets okay so perfect so inside this c burn uh, basically bar plot okay the first parameter is so by default the bar plot is basically uh, the horizontal one so therefore inside the horizontal on the x axis i want the uh, volume so therefore inside the x i uh, basically by using the data file okay and data file that is volume so inside the x axis there will be volume i copy all this line and for y axis I replace x with y and on y axis show me the topics okay so let's execute this code and check that what happened okay so it shows me the error that invalid syntax okay so here okay this is the comma separated so here i forget to write comma so again execute after inserting the comma here you can see that it shows me the graph okay inside the uh, x axis basically it shows all the volume and on the y axis it shows the vaccination as vaccination is amount is this one so it's a um, highly most of out of the all the others topic okay and then the second number is outbreak and so on if you uh, basically consider this figure uh, basically out of these the first six that is vaccination outbreak lockdown government deaths and education are the mostly one so why not i uh, basically eliminate all the others uh, okay other than the first six okay so only show me the first six rows okay so this basically it will help us to more beautify and enlarge the uh, basically this full data okay the whole graph 
so for this one uh, only show me the first six volume and first six topic for this here after the data file dot we use the head method and inside the head only six okay pass the six so for both volumes and topics so if i again execute here you can see that now the first six uh, the vaccination the outbreak is showing to me and this is something very, very beautiful okay so you can also save this result okay inside your any uh, inside your folder okay where you want to save this as in png form okay so after uh, the site title here for saving for saving the image result okay we use by using the figure figure dot so this figure is for this variable okay and the method name is figure okay for example if i change this uh, variable name that is for example fig okay so by using the fig dot figure method for more understanding figure method this figure that is bar graph dot figure and the method is save fig and inside the parentheses you can specify the file location okay and the file name okay so the file name is for example out dot png if by default i not specify the location so it will save it inside this program where this program file is executing so it save it inside this one by using the name output dot png okay so if i again execute this here you can see that it shows me the result and if i go to the specific location here you can see that inside this uh, location where the program is executed the output file is created that is the png file if i double click on this one here you can see that it shows me the figure so but one problem is on the y axis there is some missing okay uh, basically it cut off some axis uh, this data on the y axis okay so how you can fix this type of uh, error this is not an error basically on exporting it cut off some data so here pass inside the safe fix function the bbox okay parameter and this is the bbox inches and inside this one pass the, the tight okay if i again execute you can if i go to the specific link again output file is created and if i double click on this one now you can see that on the y-axis whole data is showing so uh, this basically the output file is not in hd okay how you can export this image in hd quality okay when i zoom in then you can see that the pixel is some pixel is missing and the pixel disturbed so how can i do this go to the code and inside this fig safe fig method here we can specify the dpi okay for hd quality so here dpi value is for example i said 600 6000 okay 6000 is more i think 600 is enough for hd okay if i again execute this code after some time it shows me the message uh, the resulted file and if i go to his here the output is created again and if i double click on this one here you can see that now this is the hd uh, hd image okay so hope this video will help you a lot so one thing more by default this bar graph is horizontal how you can set it as a vertical okay so this is very simple just go to the specific code of the c1 bar plot and for inside the bar plot by default it is horizontal so here we specify its orientation okay and inside the orientation pass the vertical okay after this one one thing more if i uh, show this graph on vertical then on x axis i want the topics not the volume okay so just replace these two okay on the y axis there will be volume now and on the x axis there will be now it will be the topics and show me only for example three uh, four topics okay now if i again execute this after some time here you can see that now it shows me the four top four topics on the y uh, on the x axis okay so now the this graph is vertical so this is how you can uh, use the uh, python c burn bar plot okay graph by using the c burn library 
on both vertical on an x axis so hope this video will help you a lot as mentioned in video description link just copy and paste go to that specific link and copy and paste this rule code if you have any question regarding to this topic you can email me email is mentioned in video description or you can comment inside the video comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos stay blessed have a nice day